right, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to show this video because I know as long as I keep thinking about making this video, I'm not going to get done what I need to get done. This is my mint plant. And before the growing season, it's now fall, of course. Before the growing season, I had repotted this plant. And it grew for a little bit and then it became like this. And I also, also I wasn't like, I wasn't pruning it and using it for anything. It, I just let it grow thinking that, okay, I'm gonna sit it down outside with the other plants that are in, that are potted and, and let it be. But it, it just doesn't work that way. So you need to continue to prune your plant so that it continues to grow. And also, although it's an invasive plant, you know, to plant out on the ground, I think I might do that next growing season. But right now, it's in a pot since it's uh, fall. I'm just trimming off these branches like this. And then I'm going to put some, I'm going to put some soil in it, some comp, not compost, but uh, yeah, some composted uh, cow manure and see how that works. So some of these have mint on top of them, so I'll cut these and save these, of course, but, and I'll leave the ones that are new growth right here, I'll leave that down there, but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and, and trim off these little branches like this, because it's just wasted space. I need to do this. It really smells really good. Better but yeah, so when you're thinking about, um, like I said, you think about it being invasive and stuff, I'm thinking maybe it might be okay to put it on the ground. Because I've seen other videos, some people have them in the ground. And I think that might be a good idea to put it in the certain. Let's keep, you just have to keep pruning it and keep an eye on it so it doesn't get too far into your into the rest of your garden and uh i think that may work i'm like i'm not the only one who's who's potted this but i want to try it in the ground maybe it'll keep some of that grass from growing if it's going to be in invasive So you can see right here, so you know, there's some new growth here and it's trying to do its job, you know, and grow like it, you know, is supposed to and take over, <laughs> however you want to call it. But um, I just didn't give it a chance by not, by not pruning it and just keeping up on it. So if you want to, your I won't say elephant ears. I got elephant ears on my mind. I gotta go prune those. <laughs> so if you don't prune your mint leaves, they will turn out like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some. Maybe I can get some of these dead leaves out of here. Also, my cameraman has gone. So or camera girl has gone. So I'm going to have to do this with one hand. get some of these dead leaves out and these twigs and stuff and pull that out pull most of that out pulling some of these weeds out of here some of these weeds and let's see I don't know I got some stuff anyway so yeah that's all I'm gonna do is just pull this grass out and and these weeds out and just clean it up a little bit get out some of these dead twigs like I said and I'm going to put some of this compost manure on here
Okay, so I cut down some of the, the dry twigs and kept some of the tall ones that had, not the tall ones, the tops of the tall ones that had mint growing on them and trimmed down a little bit more. Kept some of them that had new growth on it. So some of them, they're still pretty good. They're going pretty well. And, and I put some compost manure on top to kind of give it some fertilizer some feed it up a little bit I think that was a 10 10 10 fertilizer and we'll see how it grows right like now is not too much of the growing season we're going in you know we're in fall right now so we'll see what happens during the when the growing season comes back around and may like I said I may put it in the ground thanks for watching peace